about to go home because I made my shirt dirty. You're such a dirty girl. Uber's actually here. Hang on. Hello? Hello? Is this Yufuk? Yufuk? Yeah, hi. I'm coming downstairs. How does my hair look, by the way? Do you see anything unusual? Looks uh, pretty rad. Whoa, what is this? So, so, my uh, aspiring Casanovas, I was shaving my head and I was using a European adapter, which did not have a converter built in, which essentially means that too much voltage goes into the device. So it got fucking fried as I was shaving my head. Naturally, God is testing me. So now, Wait, turn I look like a fucking hoodlum. So we're going to go do some exploring, maybe a little day game. Actually, first we're meeting my friend who's a promature photographer. He lives in Berlin. And then we have to stop by a fucking barbershop to clean this up. Some parts of these were like, like ghetto as fuck. Like, it's almost like they left some of these socialist buildings in like central parts of Berlin and just, I don't know, maybe renovated them. Some of them look like they're crumbling, to be honest. But it gives the city a certain charm. I look like a Hawaiian tourist. I'm just hanging out in Berlin. I'm just being casual. I gotta be on time. I'm in Germany. Is this too blue? Organic. Guys, how sexy is this emoji shirt? I see no evil. I speak no evil. The monkeys of wisdom. How did this ever become a popular emoji? By the way, this is the emoji that you can send after you say something obscene and get away with it. Like, anal sex today? <laughs> uh -huh. Tie your shoes, good call, good call. You don't, you don't want to fall accidentally? Let's move away from the traffic. Are you just um, hanging out? Um, no, it's working. Oh, you work in the area? Yeah, I um, work in a little cafe. And yeah, now I'm about to go home because I made my shirt dirty. You're such a dirty girl. I'm leaving on Tuesday, actually. Uh-huh. So. so maybe you want to come to the cafe? Number five? Yeah. Have some tomato soup? Uh, yeah, or something else that don't make my shirt dirty. <gasps> I remember who you look like. Uh, Natalie, Natalie McAdams. Uh, Rachel McAdams, Rachel McAdams, kind I don't, of. I will Google her. She was, you know the famous book, The Notebook? Yeah. You kind of, you kind of remind me of. Nicola Sparks? Yeah, yeah, she's Canadian actually. Yeah, Rachel okay. McAdams. But she's originally a brunette. I don't know. I just know the movie because I love the books of Nicholas Sparks. Of course you do. Of course, of course. you do. Yeah. yeah. The movie was okay. Yeah. Not as good I... as the Titanic. Titanic stole my heart. <laughs> yeah. No, but I like the books better of Nicholas Sparks than the movies. I gotta run. It was cool meeting you. Might stop by the cafe five times. Be... All right. So we wrapped up the photo shoot. Got a few cool little pics. Still not seeing much sun, but. Um, I guess right now what we need to decide is whether to hop on one of those like tourist buses, 
because they drop you off in a bunch of different locations and you can like hop on and off. It's interesting, I feel like I have students that take my boot camps. I think you can split them into two categories. Some do it more just for the experience, and some do it actually like more to learn. I mean, they all do it to learn on some level, but I feel like for some it's more about this cool experience than about, I want this to catapult me towards success. And then there's the ones that are like really really take it seriously and take a shitload of notes and, you know, go hard afterwards. Excuse me, I, okay, but louder. Yeah. And then deeper voice. And then you deliver it slowly, as if it's coming to you. Yeah, I was just doing this, and you know, I saw you. If you want, I can make you sing in front of an audience. No. Unstifling exercise. Project more. Uh, excuse me, a girl with uh, yellow shorts. Not, uh, excuse me, a girl in the yellow shorts. She needs to like feel it. Otherwise, it seems like you're uncomfortable with this whole thing. But I'll let you know when I'm about to open. We're still on the call, yeah? OK, good. Good, good, good. I didn't mean to startle you, uh, but no, I was like considering getting a hot dog because I'm waiting for my friend and exploring. And then I saw you in your hipster slash fancy style and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should run over, risk everything and uh, say hello. Everything. And head on you. Listen, I'm risking a lot. It's a dangerous place. No, I'm putting my reputation on the line. It's a Russian name, but I'm from Toronto. I grew up in Canada. And what about you? Are you a Berliner? Yes. You say that so apologetically, as if you're not proud. No, I am proud, but I'm not really. Uh, <laughs> from I'm originally, I'm from, from a small Cologne. town. Or Cologne, or like outside of Cologne? Out of Cologne. Okay. Just a small town girl. The only memory I have of Cologne it was funny. It was back in 2008. Um, I was I was living in France for like a university exchange. And anyway, I visited my aunt because she lives. Uh, where does she live? Koblenz. She lives in Koblenz. Yeah, no, no. yeah some little town. Anyway, so it was in... It's a little city. Sorry, a little city. It's like 100,000 people. But anyway, I was uh, visiting Cologne for like a day, just exploring on my own. And I rented a bike and I was exploring. And I'm passing, I'm passing um, over a bridge. And underneath there's like a park, a public park. And I see sheep passing through. And I'm like, is that legal? Sheep just grazing the fields in a big city? What are you up to, by the way, uh, with your just, with your cat purse? There's this vegan uh, summer fest. Oh, I've been there. Vegan summer fest? Yeah. The one in Toronto just passed. Okay. Are you a vegan? Yes. You would be a vegan, Victoria. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to put you in a very uncomfortable situation, <laughs> so you'll learn to deal with it. <laughs> this is essentially me walking behind the student. Uh, I mean, he's on a date with a, the chick who doesn't even speak English, and um, yeah, and this way I can this way I can listen in because we get on a call with the students, and this way we can listen in to essentially what they're saying and guide them along. I told you right how I almost lost my virginity in Berlin on my first trip here. Yeah. I was 19, a late bloomer. I was on this pub crawl and I met this Finnish girl. I was 19, she was 20. So we were both pretty drunk, we're making out. Like my hand was down her pants at some point and it's like in one of the couch areas. And then she's like, let's go somewhere else. So I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> gotta pull. So I grabbed a cab, got to the hostel and I was trying to like, I was just like walking in with the girl. I don't remember if I, was checking in, but the, the girl working at reception noticed that I was, she's like, present your card, so whatever, I showed her my card, and she's like, this girl's not part of the hostel, she can't stay here. Yeah. 
I'm like, well, she doesn't need to sleep here. And then I even tried like paying for her for the night because we actually had five spots in the room. And there were only four of us. And she's like, no, no, she's drunk. She can't stay here. She was just straight up cog blocking me. Um, so as I was discussing this, the girl just wanders off and goes onto another floor into the bathroom. So I end up just following her and we're in the bathroom together on like a different floor and we're making out and you know, she goes down on me and I'm like, shit, I'm gonna it's fuck, happening. it's happening. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my virginity. Um, but I don't have a condom on me. And safety first, you know? <laughs> so the condoms were in my room. So we make our way to my room and I get in and I'm like, all right, this is happening. Two minutes later, the girl from reception shows up. The cog block strikes again and says, if she doesn't leave right now, I will call the police. I'm like, I'm thinking, that's a little uh, aggressive. Let me lose my virginity. Yeah, please. let me lose my virginity, please. Let me get laid, you know, and this girl too, you know, she probably needed the fix, so. We couldn't go to her hostel. She was staying with like 10 people in the room. I suppose maybe I could have gone to some park, but I was young and inexperienced and, and that's it. I fucking slipped through my fingers like that. Good memories. Now what's the lesson? Would the be? lesson? I guess maybe carry condoms on you at all times. Here you go, guys. Well, you can't prepare for every possible situation. I think sometimes I think sometimes you have to accept some of these situations, some of these less than ideal life situations that happen, um, kind of embrace them, just roll with them. They're fun to look back on, they build character. If everything always went smoothly, we would have nothing to laugh at. I think that's what makes life comedic. What up, Casanovas? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and want to learn how to meet girls in the fun, healthy, and natural way, then you gotta check out our bootcamp programs. They're tailored, highly personable, and very hands-on, the way you like it. Simply put, they're nothing short of life-changing. Anyway, check it out, link in the description below.